Okay. You know, the one question that a lot of the uh, readers uh, are interested in is the whole issue of alternatives to GPS for navigation. Uh, in my case, I'm an old uh, celestial navigation guy, and we had uh, both uh, Loran and Omega uh, when I was on active duty. And I know that the Coast Guard has been directed to dismantle a number of the Loran Sea stations. And while there was discussion of E. Loran taking their place and so on, what, what light can you shed on, on how that's progressing and what's happening on that? Well, I think you can segment it into a couple of areas. Uh, the first one is uh, the discussion over GPS and GPS vulnerability and the need to assure position navigation and timing. And when I have this discussion, I think if you look at GPS vulnerability and then somebody talks about a backup to GPS, I think that's too limiting a conversation. I think what you need to talk about is position, navigation, and timing, three things that GPS provides, and how do you make a more robust, resilient system uh, so you can assure that those three things happen. And I think it's probably going to be a combination of space-based and terrestrial-based capabilities so you assure you have redundancy in those three areas. So that's, it's, it gets a little bit further than just GPS vulnerability or is there a backup to GPS. I think you have to look at the three components, position, navigation, and timing. And in fact, that's what the conference in uh, Tampa, in fact, advertises itself is the position and navigation and timing. Um, the whole discussion about e Loran, uh, what can you tell us about how that's progressing or what you know about it? Well, when I was commandant, there was a discussion about uh, a backup for GPS. Uh, we were coming into a decision point regarding some of our Loran C stations that had not been upgraded to solid state technology. So we had a decision to make on whether or not to invest in Loran C to keep it running, which would have been a, a backup for GPS. Uh, in 2009, when the Obama administration came in, uh, the, the entire Loran C system was scheduled to be shut down as an efficiency effort in the government. Uh, due largely, in my view, to some mid-level bureaucrats in OMB, but that's another story. <laughs> uh, but what happened at that point, we stopped looking at uh, Loran as a form of backup to GPS. Since then, with some of the uh, things we've come to learn now about vulnerabilities of GPS to jamming and so forth, there's been active discussion about needing a backup. And independent of whether you want to talk about uh, positioning, navigation, and timing separately, there are properties out there, there are antennas out there, and there is some residual capability out there that could be applied to an ELRAN system, and that's being actively discussed. Uh, there's been some direction from Congress to take another look at this, and then just this week, uh, they activated a signal on a tower at Wildwood, New Jersey, where we used to control our LORAN system out of, uh, to see whether or not they, were, they could do a trial on the uh, distribution of a timing signal. So. E-Loran is one aspect of how you make a more robust P&T system.